What I love most about the Hydrofoils is the incredible applications that it has. The size of waves you can ride and the distances you can cover are virtually endless. Mahalo ke Kua, mahalo ke Pololu, mahalo to the Kanaka that are here today. My name is Kai Lenny, and I'm doing an amazing journey through the Hawaiian Islands, riding my hydrofoil board and other crafts. This is all in the name of protecting our oceans and bringing awareness to the pollution that is microplastics on our shoreline and in our seas. Being exposed to the ocean my entire life, I see trash constantly ending up on our shores. I'm joining this amazing team of people who care to the point where they dedicate their lives to it. Starting our first ever statewide Hawaii beach cleanup here in Pololu Valley. And I'm super excited to be teaming up with Kai Lenny, Sustainable Coastlines and Five Gyres and hoping to really make a difference in the world. You think this is paradise and you get down close to the ground and you see all the trash that's coming up on shore. This is an epidemic of trash. It's going to be an exciting journey to really raise awareness about the plastic pollution problem that Hawaii is facing as a result of the world's overconsumption of plastic. And we're going to be cleaning a dirty beach on every single island. This expedition that Kai Lenny is on, you know, going across these four major crossings, he has a chance to take the science and bring it to a much, much wider audience. This canoe we're taking out today to get to the wind line is a traditional Hawaiian va'a and the paddlers on it are some of Hawaii's best. It's going to be a send off that sets up the rest of this entire journey. The Alainui Aha Channel is 50 miles long between the islands of Hawaii and Maui. It poses many different challenges in some of the most treacherous seas. endurance and focus. The ocean out there has plenty of swell energy to ride on the foil on the endless wave. He made it to Maui finally and you know the beach is a lot cleaner down here at the famous kite beach where I learned how to kite surf. It was great seeing my entire local community support this cause. We're going to stop it at the source, so if we can refuse using plastics, that means it'll never get the chance to end up on a beach. The journey today was really fun, utilizing the wind by having my kite in the air. At one point the wind did die and I had to go back to traditional stand of paddling, and, but it was nice to change it up and kind of get back to my roots in that sport. We're at the base of Monolay Gulch on the island of Lanai. This beach is hammered by debris. It's coming right through that channel, landing right on this beach. As you can see, it's done an amazing job with just a few people. The place is relatively clean now. The plan is now I'm gonna swap out my stand of paddle board for my kite surf gear, and we're gonna head down to the shipwreck before just buzzing across to Molokai for the next trash cleanup. The crazy thing about today is that this beach here on Molokai has never been cleaned before. Nets, bottles, combs, toothbrushes. You couldn't even see the lava. We got the trash off the land here, and now we gotta figure out how to stop the flow of it. You know, put a plug in it. My choice of using the stand-up hydrofoil is to use the paddle to help me get to the wind line where I can take off and fly.
My old record for the M2O was 407. Today I smashed that with a time of 326. We're here on stop five of the statewide tour at Makapu'u Beach on Oahu. And as you can tell, Makapu'u is one to two today. One of the easiest things you can do to help stop plastic pollution is by using a reusable water bottle and by not using single-use plastics. Tomorrow we hop on a boat with Marcus from Five Gyres and we sail to Kauai and sample for marine debris along the way. Wahoo in the books. So we're going into the last leg of the trip and it's definitely the biggest channel. Luckily, not doing it again on the foil, but we're doing it on a good old sailboat. We're here off the coast of uh, Oahu, and we're trawling for microplastics on the ocean surface. The trawl looks like a manta ray. It's a little metal box with a long net on the end. What we're finding is that worldwide, hundreds of species eating our trash. And we know that trash carries this toxic burden. That's a fishing buoy. That allows invasive species to go from one continent to another, riding plastic trash. And that's a whole problem of invasive species that is new in the history of life on Earth. All right, here's our catch of the day. So that one that sticks outside the box, that's macroplastic. This is one data point that we're gonna create here to add to our many thousands to estimate our global plastic burden. Are they pilots? Are those pilot whales? I mean, those whales right there, they want us to clean those beaches. to the last island and we're going to finish this thing how we started. We're here at Naninu Beach on Kauai. There's a giant net. We're gonna try to get it out of here. The nets are more or less the most dangerous because they're the ones that can entangle wildlife. There is hope for the future if we can inspire and lead by example in creating one of the most sustainable cultures that ever lived on our planet. If you feel like donating to Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii or Five Gyres, please visit morethansport.org backslash Kailani. I hope you can support our cause and we can make a huge difference in this world.